Uh, well, well, thank you very much, Adrian, and, and thank you and Jen for your volunteer work to organize this, and thank you all for being out here. Give yourself a round of applause, please. Uh, this work would not be possible without you all and people who care about these issues. Uh, when we started back in 1986, there was very little awareness, very little thinking about our food system. But now we're at the midst of a time where we're in the middle of a food movement and there's a convergence of issues. People are more aware now than ever about the abuses of factory farming. And that's because of each of us talking to friends, sending stuff out on Facebook, sending stuff out through email, pictures, videotape. The internet is an amazing tool to show people what is happening. And as people learn, they don't think this is okay. You know, most people are humane. Most people don't like cruelty. And that's one reason a lot of times people say, I don't want to know yeah. when we raise these issues. But I think it is important for people to know and for people to ultimately make choices that are aligned with their own humane values. And also to make choices that are aligned with our own interests from a health standpoint, from an environmental standpoint. You know, the way we're eating in this country today is killing us. It really is tragic. And it's also killing billions of animals every year unnecessarily. So the way we're eating is something we don't like to look at and then we don't feel good after doing it, either physically or emotionally because it's upsetting to think about. And then this factory farming system is destroying our planet. The United Nations has talked about how animal agriculture is one of the top contributors to the most serious environmental problems we're facing, including climate change. Animal agriculture contributes more to climate change than the entire transportation industry. So this is an industry that does so many negative things, and it's one that most people are unwittingly supporting. And so we're here to just ask people to think about what they're eating and to make choices that make sense. And we're now in the midst of amazing change. Um, earlier this year, there was a one-hour special on CNN that you know Jazz mentioned, where Bill Clinton talked about being vegan. You know, Sanjay Gupta hosted this thing, and it was called the Last Heart Attack. And it talked about how we could avoid many of our health problems by shifting to a whole foods, plant-based diet. There's also a movie out called Forks Over Knives that talks about the health benefits. Ooh, that's a great movie. For those who haven't seen it, please see Forks Over Knives. Tell people about it. It's available on DVD. Uh, promotes plant-based eating as a way to be healthy and live well instead of eating food that makes us sick, which is what we do, which is really crazy if you think about it. You know, human beings have been called the rational animal. We're really more like the rationalizing animal. We come up with reasons to do things that we really don't feel very good about. You know, in terms of abusing animals, sometimes we say, well, we have to do it. It's always been that way. We, you know, need these foods for protein and for calcium, which are absolutely myths. In our country, you know, we've been told you need to drink cow's milk in order to get calcium to prevent osteoporosis. Well, we drink a lot of cow's milk in this country, and we also have a lot of osteoporosis. Yeah. So drinking cow's milk is not the solution to osteoporosis. Uh, eating healthy food, eating lots of greens, is one of the best things we can do. And I've been making these green smoothies lately with kale and spinach and blueberries and bananas and soy milk and a Vitamix with flaxseed. Man, that is some good, healthy stuff. <laughs> So, you know, each of us, there's a lot of things in this world, a lot of painful things in this world that are outside of our control. You know, we cannot snap our fingers and stop a war. We cannot prevent the rainforest from being cut down immediately. We cannot do, change a lot of the things that we would like to change. But one thing each of us has a lot of control over every day is what we decide to eat. That's something each of us can, can, can control. And in making choices that are aligned with our values and our interests, we can become empowered to live healthier and feel better about our choices and then to be examples for others and encourage others also to make a positive change. It's a very empowering thing to do. Becoming vegan was one of the best things I ever did. I did that back in 1985. And, um, so for those of you who are vegan, thank you. For those of you who are not vegan, thank you for being here. Yeah. And yeah. think about this. You know, at Farm Sanctuary, we talk to people 
everywhere. We don't want to just talk to, you know, being vegan is not about being in a club. <laughs> it's about being part of a movement. And being vegan, I think, is about an aspiration to live as well as we can, to live as healthy as we can, to live as kindly as we can, and to be kind to all animals, including human animals. And it's about compassion, it's about understanding, it's about living in a way that is, I think, the best that humanity has to offer. Doing this work for the past 25 years, I've come into contact with the best and the worst of humanity. I've been into slaughterhouses, I've seen what that does to people. People become monsters. People lose their empathy. And empathy is one of the most important parts, I think, of our humanity. To feel something when we see somebody else hurt. To want to make a difference. To want to express compassion and to try to make a difference. And that's what all of us are doing here today. So I can't thank you enough for being part of this movement, being part of this community. Thank you for making a difference. Each of us does this every day, and today we're all together doing it. Doing it, and uh, and please, when you leave this event, remember the animals. Remember that every day that we make choices that make a difference, and uh, please use your Facebook and send a lot of stuff out by email, and and uh, and but be respectful too, and understand that a lot of people are going to take a little while to come around to this, and we need to be patient. We need to be persistent. And above all, we need to be compassionate. So thank you all so much for being here. It's a, a great pleasure to be with you. And uh, we'll do some more raffle things now. So thank you.